どうぞ入ってすげえホテルみたいいいねあえちくけんいた For decades, Japan's power giants have spread a reassuring message. Nuclear power is safe and makes everyone's life better. And the biggest corporation of all is TEPCO, the Tokyo Electric Power Company. Repeat after me. TEPCO Hikari. But the explosions at TEPCO's quake damage reactors are sending a very different message. Nuclear plants don't belong in earthquake zones. You now have a situation where these, this big earthquake has occurred, there's aftershocks happening. I think there's a very good argument for shutting them all down now. Then you have the electric su- supply issue. I mean, it's a no-win situation, but they've created this no-win situation, and it was always predictable. Philip White moved from Adelaide to Japan 15 years ago and works for the Citizens Nuclear Information Centre. For years, this small anti nuclear group warned an emergency like this was certain to happen. We don't feel any satisfaction about seeing what's happening. I mean, it's frightening for us too because、uh, at the moment there is no radiation risk to people in Tokyo. But、uh, if we do have a worst case disaster, it will get to Tokyo. Tokyo withstood the quake with its buildings barely damaged. But this city of 13 million is nervously following each new crisis at the nuclear plants. Oh, see, second one. What's happened? It's exploded. It's just happened now. Now, just after 11. Hitomi Kamanaka is an independent filmmaker who's documented local opposition to Japan's expanding nuclear program. <laughs> Just weeks ago, residents clashed with construction workers at Iwai Island in Japan's west. <laughs> One electric company going to build a nuclear power plant, two, two、mm-hmm. nuclear power plants. But、uh, for 30 years, people were opposing to it, so residents, residents people.、Mm. But、uh, then they started the construction at midnight. At midnight? Suddenly. Right. It, this happened February 21st when、uh-huh. I rushed there and,、mm. and then filmed. She's one of very few journalists who report such conflicts. So they are going to build two nuclear power plants newly. This、mm-hmm. is really an、uh, issue, but you know, media doesn't cover it. So the, the big media doesn't want to upset the government, or why don't they report it? Well, because the, the sponsor is e l e c t r i c company, biggest. For 40 years, Japan's government has backed the electricity companies, approving more than 50 nuclear plants over the objections of residents and environmentalists. Now, this area where they're going to build、mm. two reactors on this quite beautiful island,、yeah. that is potentially affected by earthquakes and tsunamis too? Yeah, of course. It, 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 it's facing to the sea. And also,、uh, next is、uh, very close to Kyushu Island. And the, the volcano、uh, bursted yesterday. Right, so it's, it's got a volcano mm, too mm, next to it,、mm. and they're still going to build nuclear yeah, power plants. You know, this time, this big, huge、uh, earthquake happened, you see how long, how wide it affected. Japan is one of the most earthquake prone countries in the world, but its coastline is dotted with reactors, many using seawater as backup coolant. This is TEPCO's Fukushima plant, filmed by the ABC in 2006. It's now off limits to any cameras as technicians struggle to prevent the reactor cores melting down. The problem is many people don't know what to believe. I think that it's highly likely they're giving us accurate information to the best of their knowledge. They could give more information, and they should give more information, particularly about the radiation from the monitoring posts. But,、um, but you know, when you cry wolf, people don't believe you the next time. 
TEPCO has form in lying to the public and nuclear inspectors. In 2002, it was found guilty of deliberately concealing safety breaches. In 2007, it admitted once again that it had failed to report incidents. There are many, many times, just a whole series of times, where they have uh, misled the public. Japan might seem a strange country to be so sanguine about the dangers of nuclear energy. The bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki that ended World War II crippled the nation. But with America's encouragement, Japan turned to the awesome power of atomic energy to rebuild. Today, nearly a third of its electricity comes from nuclear reactors. And some critics claim there's been a conspiracy of silence over the dangers. But, you know, this is very important, the reality of nuclear power plants, and because of uh, uh, people in Japan get only information from electric company advertisement, as advertisement, and also this is a national policy that building more and more nuclear power plants, and then people are afraid to against it, and even media. That's why no criticism. Hitomi Kamanaka resigned from the state broadcaster NHK after it refused to run her material criticizing power companies. Local people who stand up to the corporate giants have fought lonely battles. Even without the media, public attitudes to authority have been changing. And a spate of nuclear accidents has raised doubts. One of the worst was at the Tokimura uranium processing plant, 120 kilometers north of Tokyo. 55 workers were exposed to radiation and 300,000 people ordered to stay indoors after a leak caused by sloppiness and poor safety standards. The government's response was a litany of failures. New things keep coming out. I mean, in the last year, there's been, it's been revealed that a whole lot of parts in nuclear power plants that were supposed to have been inspected had never been inspected. Many insist these failings should not be seen to discredit the entire nuclear program. Boiling water plants like Fukushima rely on 1960s technology. New designs have stronger safeguards against the perils of earthquakes and tsunamis. The Japanese are very, very skilled engineers and they have progressively changed the design of their reactors as they've observed how they have responded to various uh, earthquakes in the past. I'm sure they will do this again uh, and reset the, the, the specifications. Japan faces nervous days as authorities struggle to contain the damage to these reactors. The damage to the image of nuclear power may be beyond repair. Eric Campbell reporting.